Can lack of balance in your golf swing lead to that major slice? Christopher Howard here. So, I just had some players come out to me and we really noticed, these, these, these were mid-handicappers, right? But they really were struggling with balance issues. They hit some major slices. It was, it was a pattern. I had three of them at the same time. All were hitting major slices. And all of them were caused by one major issue. They could not control their balance in the golf swing. So this is not just a bad player movement problem. Really good players struggle with balance a lot as well. And I'm going to help you approach how to improve your balance, understanding balance through the entire golf swing in this video. But first, if you guys can, subscribe down below if you're enjoying the video. Hit the like button and please leave a comment. I really would appreciate that. All right, guys, so the first key to having balance in a golf swing is making sure you're set up in a balanced position. Now, there's lots of examples of players who, who have little cheats to accomplish getting themselves in balance when they're swinging, even after they've set up without perfect balance. Adam Scott's a great example where he will set up every time with the ball off the hosel and then move back because he started with the pressure in his toes. One of the best ball strikers of all times has a compensation in his golf swing to make up for the lack of balance. But if you can set yourself up without having to do that, why not? If we get in here and we can feel the pressure gets into the balls of the feet each time, that's going to get us where we want our balance points, okay? So we start in the balls of the feet. From there, we want to feel like our kneecaps are set up directly over the balls of the feet. That's putting us in a position where we can have balance. After we have the balls of the feet and the kneecaps, we want to take our pelvis and get it more underneath us, okay? We don't want to be in a position where our pelvis, our butt sticks way back, our chest leans down. That can make balance hard. And I'm going to get into that when I start talking about balance points in the downswing, why this is important, okay? Pelvis is more underneath us. I want the back of my armpits to line up with the balls of the feet, the kneecaps, at a dress, okay? Once I get all those positions hit, you're going to notice that my upper spine is rounded to get the back of my armpits lined up, okay? That puts me in a position where I am going to be able to move dynamically through the golf swing. I get a lot of comments about my posture when I'm shooting shorts, and they always say, you have bad posture with your shoulders, get your shoulders back. I can walk around with my shoulders back all day, but when I set up to a golf ball, that is something that I want to have. And we will really get into why that's important when we start talking about the downswing. Now, key number two is understanding how to be balanced throughout the entire backswing. Okay, when I get in here, I want my pressure in my right foot as I start turning my hips to move more towards the heel, okay? I want my pressure at the top of my backswing firmly planted on the inside heel of my trail foot. If I can do that, I'm gonna be in a good position to move dynamically in the golf swing. If I start getting my pressure rolling out because I've slid too much, that's going to require extra movement to get me into position to hit a golf ball. Now, when I turn back in that, in that position, you're going to notice that my pressure in my lead foot is going to move into the inside ball. Now, that sets me up where I get everything fully loaded at the top of my backswing, and I am ready to move dynamically into my downswing. All right, so when I talk about movement and transition into the golf swing, this is the important part. We are working our way down to impact. Now, I talked earlier on about why I set people up where they seem taller and they have that thoracic rounding to their spine. Okay, we want players moving down in transition. We're trying to create ground forces. If I get a golfer in here who sits way back like this, they look like an athlete, right? But most sports where you get that position, you're trying to move up or side to side. We don't want that in the golf swing. We want everything to be moving down into a golf ball. Boom. Our transition is pushing down and engaging the ground, right? The first movement I'm going to get, 
I'm going to really feel that the pressure is moving to the outside ball of each foot when I start my downswing. From there, it is going to move and start getting into the inside ball of the trail foot, and I'm gonna start pushing out of the lead foot and getting my pressure moving more into the outside heel, okay? When I get there, I'm gonna feel like I'm pushing to complete this turn, I'm pushing out of the back foot up and towards the target. If I can get that movement in the impact, I'm gonna be in a position where I can really start to create a lot of speed into the strike and a lot of flow and a lot of it will come from the ground. All right, so we need key four, which is holding your finish, okay? So I always, when I'm working with beginners, talk about holding the finish. I make them sit there, hold finishes, just because it really does tell us if we are balanced throughout the entire motion. So I really want every single player, when they're making a golf swing, to get to a nice high balanced position. That means my entire torso is extended up. My lead side is extended up. I don't want to get down to something like this. I don't want to be falling back. I want to work into a nice tall position. Most of my pressure is going to go into my lead foot when I'm making that move. Once I get it positioned in the lead side, my trail foot's going to be up. The toe is going to be pointed into the ground, supporting very little pressure. I hope this video helps you guys play better golf. One of the main things I need you guys to do is make sure that you get balanced at setup. I hope this clears up a lot of things that I hear about in terms of how I set players up. Second, I want my players to make sure their pressure is moving properly in the backswing. Once you get to the top, then you need to learn how to move pressure and engage the ground well. And always make sure to get a nice balanced extended finish at the end of your golf swing. Hope this helps, see you next week. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.